Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome, dear students. Uh, today we will continue the same topic of uh, population ecology. Uh, we will focus on various aspects of uh, population growth. Population of uh, all species uh, uh, have the potential to expand uh, greatly when resources are abundant. Uh, for example, we have uh, bacteria uh, that can uh, grow uh, after every 20 minutes uh, under uh, ideal laboratory conditions. Uh, ideal laboratory conditions uh, mean uh, that uh, food protection and favorable conditions uh, uh, required uh, for the growth uh, are available and food uh, resources uh, are abundantly available. If uh, suitable environmental conditions are uh, available, then bacteria will grow after uh, 20 minutes uh, by means of binary. Bacteria, uh, after a certain time, it will reproduce uh, and uh, produce 30 centimeter thick uh, layer around the globe and uh, this is a uh, quite uh, astonishing uh, thing for us uh, that uh, bacteria has uh, uh, so much potential for their uh, growth but in nature uh, such conditions uh, does not happen because uh, we have uh, limited uh, resources uh, in case of nature uh, we have uh, uh, limited resources uh, that's why the population of uh, most of the species uh, uh, grow up to certain level and uh, then uh, stabilize uh, at uh, the carrying capacity of uh, that habitat uh, or ecosystem. At the beginning, uh, most of the population show unlimited growth. But as you know, environmental resources uh, uh, and uh, food resources uh, on our planet uh, are uh, very limited. That's why uh, the population uh, stabilize uh, at a certain level. And that level is known as uh, a carrying capacity. In previous lectures, uh, you have studied that uh, uh, birth rate and uh, immigration of individuals from other population increase the population size whereas uh, birth rate uh, and uh, uh, birth rate and uh, emigration uh, reduce the number of individuals uh, within a population population is a dynamic entity and uh, with the passage of time population uh, fluctuate uh, according to the availability of uh, food and uh, environmental resources. Population grow uh, according to the availability of uh, resources. We have uh, this uh, equation, change in population size, birth plus uh, immigrants. Uh, these immigrants, uh, individual enter from the uh, other population, these two factors uh, increase the size of population. Whereas uh, uh, death, rate uh, and uh, emigrant uh, those individuals uh, who living uh, the current population are responsible for the reduction of uh, individuals if we represent uh, this uh, uh, equation r mean change in uh, population size whereas uh, uh, delta n delta means change or difference uh, in the population uh, over delta time. So we can uh, study the population change with respect to change in number of individuals of the population uh, in uh, definite time interval. All these uh, uh, parameters uh, uh, play vital role in the determination of uh, population size. So we have uh, studied birth rate and uh, death rate. Uh, birth rate and death rate. The cumulative uh, answer will be the R. R means uh, change within the population. If population of uh, 1000 individuals increase by 16 individuals per year. The population will be uh, 16 per thousand or 0 0.016. Uh, suppose uh, the population size 500, uh, it means uh, uh, rate of change in population. R and uh, 
uh, change in the population n means uh, number of individuals the rate of change uh, uh, for the population is uh, 0 0.016 uh, which we have already discussed in this example. Then we multiply this population with 500. Uh, it means 500 individuals uh, will uh, grow to uh, maximum its carrying capacity within eight years. Uh, eight individual per year. Is will explain it R stands for uh, change in population. R, delta T, change over time and uh, n stands for uh, total individuals of the population at that time and uh, this is uh, the uh, value which we have already discussed uh, 0 0.016 into uh, 500 uh, individuals so it means uh, currently uh, eight individuals uh, are added in the population in this equation we have a specific time interval often we uh, take the one year uh, for the time measurement uh, and uh, most of the ecologists uh, and time scale also varies uh, according to the uh, life history and age of the individuals in this equation uh, Delta N capital and uh, delta T uh, rate of change uh, in population and uh, there is uh, uh, R is uh, intrinsic factor uh, uh, which you have observed six, 16 individuals uh, per year and uh, we change uh, this uh, R delta T by R. So this is a revised form of uh, equation in which uh, delta replaced by d and uh, similarly delta t replaced by dt is equal to rn uh, when we study such equations uh, uh, where uh, we study the growth of population we have two models of uh, growth within the population one of them exponential growth and uh, uh, second uh, is uh, exponential growth and the uh, second one is uh, logistic growth model so in this uh, graph you can observe uh, uh, blue line uh, that's showing uh, the rate of change within population so first uh, population curve uh, indicate uh, that uh, after five generation the growth of population is uh, at uh, uh, maximum level. Whereas in second curve, uh, you can observe uh, the uh, curve uh, that is, uh, you can say, uh, attain the growth level after uh, 15th generation. It means uh, the value of R is one, which is maximum. And in this case, uh, value of R is uh, 0.5. So uh, this uh, exponential growth uh, only occur when uh, there are uh, abundant food resources. Jab yahan pe hum dekhte hain ke abundant food resources hote hain, to tab population jo hai, wo exponentially grow karti. Exponential growth me humne dekha ke ye humare paas uh, bacterial growth hai. Or bacterial growth में आपने देखा कि अगर growth rate R जो है वो क्या है one है और यहाँ पे point five है तो one के करीब maximum growth होती है और zero के करीब जो है वो minimum population में growth होती है. So we have an example of J shape curve which is uh, exponential growth and uh, in this uh, population uh, uh, we observe normally a j-shaped curve occur in uh, new populations especially those population which are introduced to the um, a new environment where uh, environmental resources are abundant or any population which was previously wiped out by flood, earthquake, 
and uh, other uh, natural uh, calamities uh, uh, replace uh, all these uh, uh, population and now once again the population is going to re-establish it. Next, हमारे पास ये exponential growth की example है यहाँ पे हम देखते हैं कि बहुत सारे जो इब्तिदा में कनाडा और यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स में लोगों ने 19th century 20th century में सी ऑटर का काफी ज्यादा शिकार किया जिसकी वजह से नॉर्थ अमेरिका में ये सी ऑटर्स जो हैं इनकी पापुलेशन खत्म हो गई लेटर ऑन इन्हीं सी ऑटर्स को ब्रिटिश कोलंबिया कनाडा में रीइंट्रोड्यूस किया गया uh, near the coast of uh, Vancouver. So then, in ki phir, uh, jo hai growth sea otters ki dekhi gai ke usme exponential growth hui. Next, uh, logistic model describe how population grow more slowly as it near to its uh, carrying capacity. First of all, we have uh, to study uh, carrying capacity. Carrying capacity is uh, symbolized by K. It means uh, the maximum population size that a particular environment can. Carrying capacity symbolized by K and maximum population si uh, size that a particular environment can sustain. It means uh, a carrying capacity, uh, the maximum population size which a particular environment can sustain. Exponential growth model. We have studied uh, organisms continue to grow uh, when food resources are uh, unlimited uh, or uh, uh, abundant. As uh, uh, we know, population uh, density in a particular habitat uh, increases. Uh, it means uh, uh, individuals uh, has uh, limited access to the food and environmental resources. So there will be uh, competition among the individuals uh, and most of the individual compete for food, shelter and uh, uh, reproduction. So at that uh, time when any habitat uh, um, have uh, limited resources, uh, maximum, uh, maximum uh, population sustained by the habitat, uh, there will be no growth within the population. And uh, carrying capacity of any ecosystem uh, to support the population varies according to space and time. If there is uh, some increase in the food resources uh, and uh, better environmental factor, then what will happen? Uh, there will be more growth. If there is uh, decrease in the food resources and harsh climatic condition in this situation uh, the growth of uh, uh, population will also reduce uh, and uh, sometimes it goes down uh, towards the negative side there are uh, different uh, factors uh, which are uh, contributing uh, uh, in uh, determining the carrying capacity of uh, any population such as uh, energy, shelter uh, and uh, uh, protection from the predator, uh, availability of uh, nutrient, uh, uh, water uh, and uh, in case of bird, uh, suitable nesting site, uh, all these uh, factors uh, could be uh, a limiting factor uh, to determine the carrying capacity. Uh, in case of uh, logistic growth model, we have earlier discussed uh, uh, logistic growth model uh, is generally operated in those uh, habitat or uh, ecosystem where environmental resources uh, are uh, limited or uh, you can say uh, to construct the logistic model, we can uh, take the example of uh, exponential uh, population growth model. And uh, in this uh, model, you can observe a change within the population. And uh, uh, in this model, uh, we add K minus N uh, divided by K. 
द मैक्सिमम पर कैपिटल रेट ऑफ इंक्रीज आर इज मल्टीप्लाइड बाय द एक्सप्रेशन के माइनस एन ओवर के वेयर के इज द मैक्सिमम सस्टेनेबल पॉपुलेशन साइज कैरिंग कैपेसिटी वेयर एज के माइनस एन इज द नंबर ऑफ एडिशनल इंडिविजुअल्स व्हिच कैन सपोर्ट द एनवायरनमेंट इन दिस uh fraction you can k is still available for the population growth exponential growth model and uh, where is uh, where uh, growth is limited uh, and uh, cannot uh, exceed the population uh, carrying capacity that is uh, 1500 is the maximum carrying capacity of uh, this ecosystem after this uh, uh generation after generation there will be no growth because environmental resources and food resources uh, are limited when n is small compared to the k then k minus n k is close to the 1 ye 1 ke kareeb hoga तो इट मीन्स यहाँ पे जो है मैक्सिमम ग्रोथ के चांसेस है इफ पॉपुलेशन ग्रोथ रेट विल बी क्लोज टू द आर आर इज द इंट्रेंसिक रेट ऑफ इंक्रीज इंट्रेंसिक रेट से मुराद क्या है हर पॉपुलेशन का एक अपना ग्रोथ रेट है बैक्टीरिया का ग्रोथ रेट क्या है ट्वेंटी मिनट पर जनरेशन ह्यूमन का क्या है ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स पर जनरेशन ये एक अप्रोक्सीमेट uh, है अब हम देखते हैं जब एन लार्ज होगा तो इससे क्या होगा कि पॉपुलेशन रिसोर्सेज जो है फूड रिसोर्स इन्वायरमेंटल रिसोर्स ये लिमिटेड होंगे और इसकी वैल्यू जीरो होगी और uh, इसमें फर्दर जो है हम देखते हैं कि पॉपुलेशन uh, ग्रोथ uh, बहुत ज्यादा स्लो हो जाएगी हमारे पास ये एग्जांपल है पॉपुलेशन लॉजिस्टिक ग्रोथ मॉडल की ये एक हाइपोथेटिकल uh, पॉपुलेशन है इसमें हमारे पास पॉपुलेशन uh, का साइज जो है पॉपुलेशन साइज एन अगर 25 uh, इसके पॉपुलेशन का साइज है तो इसका इंट्रेंसिक रेट एक स्पीशीज के लिए इंट्रेंसिक रेट क्या होता है सेम होता है वन तमाम के लिए जब इसकी 25 पॉपुलेशन है तो उसके बाद हमारे पास के माइनस एन ओवर के की वैल्यू 0.98 है इट मींस कि इसमें मैक्सिमम पोटेंशियल है ये 1500 इंडिविजुअल पॉपुलेशन को अटेन कर सके फिर इसको हम मल्टीप्लाई करते हैं आर से अगर ये वन है तो फिर भी ये वैल्यू सेम आएगी हम देखते हैं कि जैसे जैसे ये पॉपुलेशन बढ़ती जाती है 1500 तक पहुंचती है तो ये आ, जीरो तक पहुंच जाती है अब ये जीरो तक पहुंचेगी तो इट मींस इसमें फर्दर ग्रोथ का पोटेंशियल नहीं है क्योंकि आ, ये पॉपुलेशन जो है वो अपनी कैरिंग कैपेसिटी तक पहुंच चुकी है तो हमारे पास अगर ये 750 इंडिविजुअल्स हैं तो इस केस में हमारे पास जो कैरिंग कैपेसिटी का रेट होगा वो 0.5 0.5 से मुराद क्या है इसमें इंटरमीडिएट ग्रोथ होगी और इस स्टेज पे जहां 25 इंडिविजुअल्स हैं मैक्सिमम ग्रोथ होगी और 1500 पे जाके पॉपुलेशन ने अपनी कैरिंग कैपेसिटी अटेन कर ली है तो इस तरह हम देखते हैं कि ये पॉपुलेशन जो है इसमें फर्दर ग्रोथ नहीं होती इसमें कैरिंग कैपेसिटी कितनी है 1500 है और जब हम देखते हैं कि एन और के ये इक्वल हो जाते हैं तो इट मींस पॉपुलेशन स्टॉप ग्रोइंग इस टेबल में ये सारा हमने देखा है कि यहाँ पे एक हाइपोथेटिकल पॉपुलेशन है और जिसमें जो पॉपुलेशन का इंट्रेंसिक रेट क्या है वन पर इंडिविजुअल पर ईयर तो इस तरह हम देखते हैं कि नेचर में जितनी भी ये पॉपुलेशन है शुरू में वो लॉजिस्टिक ग्रोथ मॉडल को फॉलो करती हैं और उसके बाद क्या होता है कि जब 
ecosystem ki ya habitat ki carrying capacity uh, attain kar lete hain agar environmental factors mein thodi bahut change hoti rehti hai uske sath sath population bhi change hoti rehti hai इसमें आप देखें मैक्सिमम कैरिंग कैपेसिटी क्या है 1500 इंडिविजुअल ये पॉपुलेशन का साइज है इसको हम एन से रिप्रेजेंट करते हैं और ये पॉपुलेशन ग्रोथ जो है ये जारी है और यहाँ पे आके हम देखते हैं कि कंपटीशन शुरू हो जाता है और फूड रिसोर्स लिमिटेड हो जाते हैं जिसकी वजह से ये लॉजिस्टिक ग्रोथ जो है ये एक्सेस एक्सिस के पैरेलल ग्रो करना शुरू कर देती है तो इसमें हम देखते हैं कि मैक्सिमम कैपेसिटी यहाँ पे होती है अगर तो नेक्स्ट ईयर यहाँ पे रिसोर्सेज बढ़ जाते हैं तो ये थोड़ी सी पॉपुलेशन बढ़ेगी और अगले साल अगर कम हो जाते हैं तो ये इसी कैरिंग कैपेसिटी के इर्द गिर्द जो है ये पॉपुलेशन जो है वो ऑसिलेट करती रहेगी हमारे पास लॉजिस्टिक मॉडल एंड रियल पॉपुलेशन की एग्जांपल है वी हैव द एग्जांपल ऑफ वाटर फ्ले जिसको आप डेफनिया कहते हैं एंड इसके ऊपर ये लॉजिस्टिक ग्रोथ मॉडल को हम अप्लाई कर सकते हैं नंबर ऑफ डेफनिया पर 50 एम इसमें uh, हम देखते हैं कि इस 50 एम वाटर के अंदर इसकी कैरिंग कैपेसिटी क्या है दैट इज अबाउट 135 थर्टी फाइव इंडिविजुअल्स पर पर 50 एम इन दिस केस इन अर्ली डेज दिस डेफनिया विल शो मैक्सिमम ग्रोथ रेट एंड आफ्टर 80 डेज दिस पॉपुलेशन विल बिकम स्टेबल and uh, it will maintain around 135 uh, uh, individuals within the population in the beginning uh, you can observe that uh, population was uh, raised uh, up to 180 ye 180 tak pahunchi then uh, food was limited and competition among the individual was started and uh, its population was uh, dropped down हमारे पास दूसरी एग्जांपल है ये बिग हॉर्न शीप है ये कनाडा और यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स के एरिया में ये पाई जाती है और यहाँ पे नंबर ऑफ बिग हॉर्न शीप्स आप इसमें आप देखें कि इसकी मैक्सिमम जो है ये पॉपुलेशन बढ़ी और उसके बाद जो है ये पॉपुलेशन जो है वो काफी ज्यादा ड्रॉप डाउन कर गई इसकी रीजन जो है हम देखते हैं कि इन द बिगनिंग इस बिग हॉर्न के लिए फूड ग्रासेस वगैरह बहुत ज्यादा अवेलेबल था और इसकी पॉपुलेशन बढ़ी जब इसकी पॉपुलेशन बढ़ी तो इसके साथ इसके ऊपर जो है प्रीडेटर्स ने काफी ज्यादा अटैक किया और जब पॉपुलेशन बढ़ी थी इट क्रिएट स्ट्रेस ऑन ग्रासेस एंड वेजिटेशन ये ग्रासेस और वेजिटेशन की भी कमी हुई जिसकी वजह से फिर अल्टीमेटली ये बिग हॉर्न शीप जो है इसकी पॉपुलेशन जो है ये 50 इंडिविजुअल तक पहुंच गई अब ये पॉपुलेशन जो है यहाँ पे ये लॉजिस्टिक ग्रोथ मॉडल को भी सपोर्ट नहीं करती तो इस तरह की भी नेचर में ये एग्जांपल्स होती हैं कि जब कुछ ऑर्गेनिज्म जो है वो लॉजिस्टिक ग्रोथ मॉडल और एक्सपोनेंशियल ग्रोथ मॉडल को फॉलो नहीं करते वो इस वजह से होता है कि वहां पे इन्वायरमेंटल स्ट्रेसेस फूड की अवेलेबिलिटी प्रीडेटर और इसके अलावा इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ न्यू प्रीडेटर और पैरासाइट या किसी भी डिजीज की वजह से उनकी लाइफ हिस्ट्री ट्रेट आर प्रोडक्ट ऑफ नेचुरल सिलेक्शन as you know uh, in nature especially in living organism natural selection is one of the big and vital force that shape the organisms uh, population community and uh, uh, other structures 
So natural selection favor those traits which improve the organism's uh, survival chances uh, and their uh, reproductive success. Uh, in natural selection, uh, those individuals uh, which are physically strong and can grab maximum environmental and food resources, uh, they will get more chances to survive. On the other hand, uh, second most important step that is the reproductive success uh, reproductive in reproductive success uh, those individuals are uh, uh, successful which give more and more offspring to the uh, uh, environment and uh, to next generation that's why most of the organism perform the strategy of uh, trade off between survival and uh, its uh, reproductive uh, uh, trades. Uh, for their uh, uh, strategy development uh, uh, to survive, uh, individuals uh, mainly focus on the frequency of uh, reproduction, how many times uh, they will reproduce uh, and uh, number of uh, offspring uh, and uh, parental investment for the care of uh, young one. These are the traits uh, which uh, normally uh, individually focus uh, for their uh, survival and uh, reproductive success. Uh, natural selection favor uh, a balanced uh, strategy. It means uh, uh, average number of individuals uh, with uh, more parental care uh, uh, and uh, healthy individuals uh, uh, are uh, favored by natural selection. So uh, we also keep in uh, mind uh, about the uh, organism's uh, schedule of reproduction and survival, which make the uh, entire life history of uh, any species. Life history of an organism, uh, basically it's an outcome of uh, uh, evolutionary process uh, such as uh, uh, development uh, or developmental uh, uh, process occur in the life history of any species uh, physiology and more important uh, uh, behavior of uh, organism right from the birth to the death of uh, individual every individual perform different kinds of uh, behaviors some of uh, behavior are instinct behavior and uh, in higher animal most of the behavior are learned behavior uh, which organism uh, learn through its experience uh, and uh, by the training of parents uh, uh, you can say uh, cubs of lying get trained uh, from their uh, mother and parents uh, how to hunt the uh, prey. So all these uh, strategies uh, are adopted by the uh, young one. So when we talk about evolutionary history of uh, any species, uh, we will focus on three main uh, uh, points uh, or characteristics or traits or variables. Uh, uh, when the reproduction of any individual starts. It means uh, at which age uh, animal reproduce for the first time, or uh, you can say uh, at which stage an individual will get uh, uh, maturity and uh, start the production of offspring. Then second uh, attribute uh, is that how often the organism uh, reproduces and uh, how many offsprings are uh, produced by reproductive uh, episode. How often the organism reproduce? Uh, we have uh, different examples uh, of uh, animals uh, like uh, you have uh, studied in previous lectures uh, about pink salmon. Pink salmon reproduce uh, only uh, one time in uh, her life and uh, whereas uh, uh, human and other mammals uh, reproduce uh, many times throughout their uh, lifespan. How many offsprings are uh, produced per uh, reproductive uh, episode? And uh, you know some species uh, produce millions of eggs uh, uh, during their reproductive episode. 
In case of human, only one or two individuals uh, born uh, during uh, one reproductive session. And, uh, uh, you know, in case of fish, there is uh, um, very limited parental care, uh, whereas in case of human uh, individuals, uh, young one got maximum protection and uh, uh, care from the uh, parents. So, uh, in case of human, we experience long-term parental care because uh, uh, the individuals uh, uh, per reproductive episodes are uh, uh, very limited, uh, about uh, one or two. We have uh, already discussed about the female parity, uh, which is also known as the Big Bang uh, reproduction or uh, in, uh, in which uh, uh, individuals uh, produce uh, a large number of uh, offspring uh, for one time and after that uh, uh, they will die. We have an example of uh, this uh, uh, cactus plant. This, uh, this is the inflorescence of uh, cactus plant uh, which bear flowers uh, and these flowers uh, convert into uh, young ones uh, uh, young ones uh, on the inflorescence. Uh, during rainy season or strong winds, uh, uh, these young ones uh, will drop down and uh, uh, will start a new life. Whereas the uh, parent body will ultimately uh, die after uh, the production of uh, young one. Similarly, you have already uh, studied the example of uh, pink salmon. Then, uh, uh, second uh, category, uh, atrioparity, mean repeated uh, uh, producers. Uh, we can take the example of uh, human being, uh, and uh, in case of uh, human being, uh, uh, we uh, study that uh, uh, mothers experience uh, uh, birth of young ones uh, for uh, several times. Density also influence the uh, population. Uh, density, if there is a, a high number of density, then there will be uh, more competition and more fight uh, uh, among the individuals of uh, population for the uh, uh, for uh, resources and uh, uh, growth. In this uh, a graph you can uh, observe number of surviving young one per female uh, and number of breeding females. If there are uh, uh, more uh, females, then the number of surviving young one per female uh, will be limited. If there are uh, less number of females, uh, then there will be uh, less competition for the food and uh, territory then uh, maximum individuals, uh, young ones, uh, will survive. So in this uh, case, uh, you can observe if the uh, population of females high, then the number of young ones, uh, uh, young ones uh, uh, will survive uh, uh, in a limited number because uh, uh, mother have to fight for uh, resources, shelter, and uh, uh, face the severe competition. Most of the uh, energy will spend uh, on the female's own survival. In second graph, we have juvenile mortality, mortality at the early stage of young one and number of adults. Juvenile mortality will be high if there are more number of uh, adults and uh, juvenile mortality will be less if there is uh, less number of adults within the population. So uh, the uh, density dependence uh, in song sparrow, we have studied uh, first uh, reproductive uh, success decrease and uh, second due to population size, uh, uh, mortality rate was increased and uh, population size uh, uh, you can say in second, uh, as population size uh, uh, increases, mortality rate will also increase in case of uh, uh, juveniles. 
Population growth rates are affected by the population size that uh, many important processes are density dependent. Uh, then competition for resources uh, uh, may become uh, severe, which lead uh, uh, to the reduced birth rate and uh, increase the risk of mortality. And uh, if there is more population, then what will happen? There will be high mortality rate. High population densities can also lead to an accumulation of uh, uh, toxic waste and uh, behavioral change may also uh, affect population growth rate. Some species like rodents, uh, rat and mice, uh, such individuals uh, become antisocial, especially male become uh, antisocial and fight more and more and there will be less chances for the breeding uh, and uh, uh, generally the individuals uh, our population becomes stress out. In a crowded uh, population, uh, when the competition will be high, the process of uh, emigration will start and uh, uh, individual will start to uh, go uh, outside the population as a result of uh, this population will also move. Population uh, density influence, uh, as uh, you know, population density, sometimes density dependent factors are negatively correlated to the population size. Uh, recently, you have uh, uh, observed uh, the attack of uh, locust, locusta migratoria. Uh, this is the locust species uh, which attacked on the crop of. Uh, um, southern uh, Pakistan, Balochistan, Sindh, and uh, some parts of uh, Bahawalpur. In this uh, process, uh, we can observe the opposite observation. If there is uh, more uh, individuals of locust, uh, then uh, there will be the more reproduction and uh, high production of uh, uh, young ones. This factor is known as the uh, effect. Uh, and uh, in such populations, uh, generally individuals are uh, um, uh, sparsely uh, distributed. Uh, it means uh, they are disputed uh, far away from each other. When the, uh, their population become dense, uh, the individual uh, get more and more reproduction chances. Uh, and as a result of this, uh, what will happen? there will be more population, which is uh, reverse to the uh, first phenomena which we have uh, uh, studied in case of rat and mice and uh, uh, human and uh, uh, other species. So population density influence the uh, growth rate of population. Uh, this alley effect is an exceptional case uh, in which uh, more dense uh, uh, environment uh, create uh, uh, more population. Whereas in case of rodents, uh, uh, male become antisocial and violent uh, uh, during the high density of population. Life history traits are uh, uh, products of natural selection. On the basis of natural selection, we have uh, two types uh, of uh, population. K-selected populations and uh, R-selected uh, population. K-selected population uh, density dependent selection occur in this case and R-selection density independent selection uh, occur. So uh, we can compare uh, the characteristics of uh, R-selected uh, uh, populations uh, and uh, R selected uh, population is uh, as you have studied the locust and annual plants and herbs, whereas K selected population, these population have a long lifespan and uh, uh, have multiple reproductive uh, uh, episodes. Adaptations. In case of uh, uh, R selected uh, at uh, uh, first reproduction occur at early age, whereas in uh, K-selected population, it's late. Lifespan of R-selected populations are short, uh, whereas uh, uh, in other cases, uh, K-selected population long. 
maturation time short and uh, in case of uh, uh, case selected uh, it take uh, uh, more time for the maturation for example the example of uh, elephant and human being uh, there is a maturation of individuals uh, quite late mortality rate often high in case of r selected and usually low in case of uh, case selected population number of offsprings uh, uh, produced per uh, reproductive episode many and in case selected few then number of reproductive uh, reproductions per lifetime usually one and uh, in case selected uh, often several Semen parity in case of R selected and uh, uh, atrial parity in case of K selected. Parental care in R selected none and uh, uh, in case of K selected uh, uh, population often it is uh, extensive. Size of offspring or egg uh, in this case uh, it is small due to less number of yolk whereas uh, uh, egg size uh, in case of case selected population is large. So we have the example of uh, R selected uh, uh, population cockroach, housefly. Uh, these are the different uh, examples of R selected population. Whereas case selected population, is may have elephant, uh, rhino, giraffe, loin or human ki example sir you have a point that populations first follow logistic model and when they attain the carrying capacity sir you have not told me that then what they follow you have left this graph that early stages of the early stages exponential growth or logistic growth model is the same later on अगर तो environmental resources abundant है तो फिर ये J shape curve को जो है वो follow करेंगे अग, तो इसको हम क्या कहेंगे exponential growth और इसकी curve की shape J shape होती है दूसरी हमारे पास दूसरी हमारे पास ये curve है और इस curve में आप देखें के ये एस शेप है इसको हम सिग्माइड कर्व कहते हैं जब लिमिटेड एनवायरमेंटल रिसोर्सेज और फूड रिसोर्सेज होंगे तो ये अर्ली स्टेज में तो इसकी एक्सपोनेंशियल ग्रोथ हुई फिर जब कैरिंग कैपेसिटी अटेन कर लेगी तो इसकी कौन सी ग्रोथ होगी लॉजिस्टिक ग्रोथ होगी that you carrying capacity term, term hai wo sirf hum logistic model mein apply karte hain ya jo exponential model usme bhi hum yahi kehte hain ki carrying capacity term exponential model mein carrying capacity isliye nahi aati ke wahan pe unlimited resources hote hain to logistic model mein kya hota hai unlimited resources hote hain that's why wahan pe logistic so ये जो बात आप अभी बता रहे थे इसके मुताबिक स्टार्ट में लॉजिस्टिक मॉडल और एक्सपोनेंशियल दोनों सेम चल रहे होते हैं और जब रिसोर्सेस कम होते हैं तो फिर वो लॉजिस्टिक जब कैरिंग कैपेसिटी अटेन कर लेते हैं तब वो लॉजिस्टिक मॉडल को अटेन करता है तो अगर रिसोर्सेस अनलिमिटेड हैं तो वो एक्सपोनेंशियल ग्रोथ ही होगा 